Okay, so I like did this look and put it on Instagram because I was just like playing around and a lot of you guys were pissed that I didn't film it. <laughs> so I'm like pretty obsessed with this makeup look from Miley Cyrus's whatever the song is called, I can't remember. Basically, it's super simple. Like the way I'm gonna do it is very, very simple. I already have my base on obviously because the big thing here is the eyeshadow and the lip. You know what I mean? So like do your base however you're comfortable. If you wanna go like super glam, go ahead and do that. If you want it to be like a little bit more natural, do whatever you want, like what's flattering on you. Um, before I go into the eyeshadow, I just want to apply some blush. She's got like a, it's kind of like a contour blush situation. So I just wanna kind of like put my blush in that area. So I'm gonna be using my, one of my faves, Patrick Ta. She's sincere, this shade. So for the blush, I'm just gonna place it like here kind of like in my contour almost. And then I'm gonna bring it up. So it's a little bit different than how I usually do it, but I just kind of like want to emulate the look she has. So it's placed like right in here. And then kind of like, I'm gonna blend that out. But I really, uh, I really like that, especially with this like pink background. I wanna go a little bit hard on the blush. I'm learning that as far as blush placement goes, as long as I'm intensifying or complementing my like cheekbone structure. I don't necessarily have to take it up so high. It's just like doing what's flattering for your face. It could be like a few different things, you know? All right, so for my eyes, I guess I'll prime. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills primer. Just throwing that all over the lid. You guys have been recommending so many eye primers for me recently and I wanna try them all. So thank you, I appreciate it. Cause I know this one, you know, I've used this all the time but it is one shade and it's very um, limiting, so. All right, for this look, I'm gonna be using this new palette because it's this is what I used when I uh, posted it on Instagram and this, it's so fucking beautiful. Urban Decay Stoned? Urban Decay Stoned Vibes? Like, when I got the packaging, I was like, oh, I wanna use this. Like, Urban Decay for me hasn't really thrown out any like real bangers in a while, but like just this packaging is just like, oh, I can't fucking, I can't stop looking at it. It's beautiful. Look at it. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Oh, and then the um, shadows on the inside are kind of that like, um, this was like a, this was big for a while. It was kind of these, um, I don't know what to call them, shattered, almost shattered. And then you, you mix them and uh, they make different colors. I'm going to start off exactly the way I did this the other day. So I picked up Meditate, which almost looks a little more like brownie, you know, comparatively, but this one's a little bit too light. So I'm gonna pick up Meditate on my finger and I'm going to place this all over my lid to start off. I really hope the camera picks this up. So it's kind of like a purple with a warm base. The more you build it up, the more you see the purple because the purple is kind of, it's really in the pearl um, and the base is more of like kind of a, I don't know, a warmer, like more orangey tone. So using my finger, I'm literally just going to build this up on the lid and then start patting it out. Now, one of the reasons that I'm not going for a super saturated purple, because when you first look at this, you might be like, holy shit, that's so purple, is, first of all, I am gonna be going in with a little bit more purple, but hold on. It's a purple eye with a red lip. Now that can look like crazy if you go in way too much with either of those colors. So remember, if you're feeling like, oh my God, I cannot do that color combination, I'm gonna look like a clown, keep in mind balance. So maybe tone that purple down a little bit like I'm doing or tone the amount down. You, If I told you how long it's been since I last washed my makeup brushes, you would be so embarrassed. All right, so I'm gonna use this Wayne Goss number 17 brush. Um, now I'm picking up that shade um, on the brush, tapping it off as always. And I'm going to, oh, what is the shape? So I'm gonna keep it kind of like here. Then I'm gonna bring it in close cause she's got it, it comes in to the eye socket, like the inner part quite a bit. So like right in here. And then I'm going to swoop it straight out. So we're kind of leaving that brow bone quite blank, creating this shape especially when you are building up with a shadow that has quite a bit of pearl in it. Like if it's not just a matte shade, you wanna go really, really slow. Cause if you try to blend it out too quickly, you can end up applying that base like all over the place and then it can look so crazy. So pick up a small amount, tap off your brush, ease into it. 
you don't know exactly how to wing an eyeshadow look like this, use the end of your brow and the end of your eye as a guide, kind of following the, that shape that it creates. Now for the center of the lid, I'm gonna pick up Vibes, this guy right here. Again, just using my finger. Um, she has like a, just a slight like reflect, like a light lightness right in the center of the lid. And this is just going to help catch that light. Cause this eyeshadow is so dazzling. Just right in the center of the lid. So that as I turn my eye, it just looks like metallic, you know? All right, using my Precision Firm Blender Brush from Sigma, I'm going to pick up Third Eye, which is this matte purple shade. Focus. If we look at the photo, it gets like quite deep. So I'm gonna go in and create that detail using that shade. So I'm going to use a little more precision. I'm gonna start in here she has like a really beautiful, nice defined eye socket. Ooh, love it. Taking what's left over and bringing it down and out. And the reason that I'm going in with this matte shade last rather than first is because first of all, it's much darker than the other shade. And second, I want that shimmer throughout. Then I'm going to take whatever's left over and just drag it down a little bit, just like that. This palette is really beautiful. The formulas are stunning. I highly recommend it if you like the colors. All right, for the lower lash line, she has kind of like a bronzy shade in her waterline. So I'm gonna be using this eyeliner by Il Maquillage. This is in the shade Sylvester. It's kind of like a taupey silver almost. She might have a purple, but I don't know. I like this. It looks a little bit more on the brown side. So I'm gonna try this guy. So I'm gonna place this in my waterline and then just kind of drag it down onto the lash line a little bit. This is one of those eyeliners that I use constantly because the color is just so flattering. This like taupey, dirty bronze almost. It's perfect for a smoky eye for blondes because it's not black, but it kind of gives you that same effect, you know? Like it almost matches my eyebrow color. All right, now here's the problem. <sighs> Miss Miley's under eye bags are a little smaller than mine. See how oh, hers are smaller. I really wanna get rid of that area of my face. <laughs> so I can't just blend that eyeliner. Like I'm not satisfied with the way that looks. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to take the first shade that we went in with and I'm going to smoke it along my eye bag just to fit my face a little bit more and also my like style. All right, so using the Sigma E55 eye shading brush, Sky right here. I'm going to pick up that first color, Vibes. Nope, just kidding. Meditate. <laughs> and I'm going to squint, and then I'm gonna pack this all along my eye bag. I'm also gonna go over that eyeliner. So I'm going to use this, if you've seen my other like ex explanation eyeshadow videos, to push this eye bag area back in space so that it's not so obvious. See how that just like pushes that area back in space. It makes the wrinkles look a little bit less prominent, but I didn't even put that much down. Just enough to make this part of my eye look cohesive with the top because it just fits my style a little bit better. I wish I was one of those people who could just put like a little bit of liner on the bottom or the lower lash line, but I'm just not. Okay, I love that so much. Uh, I just want to deepen up close to that lower lash line a little bit more and make it just a tiny bit more purple. So I'm going to grab third eye again on a flat brush. I'm using the MAC 239S, not a flat brush. It's a like a definer brush, I guess. Run this really close to the lower lash line. Just wanna deepen that up a little. And then I think they actually probably used that eyeliner, but using the KVD Beauty number 70 is just an angled liner brush, I think, um, or brow, brow brush. I'm gonna pick up third eye, that dark purple, and I'm going to use it to ever so slightly extend my inner corner just right here, literally right there. I don't wanna do it too much. Hers is actually extended a little more from the top, but I find it to be more flattering on my eye shape to extend from the bottom. Just like that. Dude, I'm obsessed. I feel like I'm doing this so much better than the first time. 
Maybe I should practice doing eyeshadow looks before I do actually do them, <laughs> film them, I mean. All right, so uh, I'm going to do my highlighting before I finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna be using Becca Moonstone because she has just like a really beautiful, ethereal looking glow, you know? So Becca Moonstone, and I'm gonna be hitting all the high points of the face. The huge. I'm bringing my highlight in a little bit closer. She's got those round cheeks. So I'm not taking it like all the way in here, but a little bit, a little bit on the top. Highlight those breakouts over there. Cause I don't wanna leave them out, you know? I'm gonna take my inner corner, hi inner corner highlight like just up above that um, extended inner corner. She has a Beeman inner corner highlight, so I'm gonna build that up. So I'm using, <gasps> I'm using, um, this Morphe 205 brush, flat brush, and I'm just using like the side of the brush. One of my favorite things about this look is that it doesn't look like she's wearing falsies. So if I wasn't gonna wear falsies, then I would just go in really, really hardcore with my Monsieur Big Lancome waterproof mascara because that's what like really gives my lashes volume it holds the curl but i do want to wear falsies just because i want to but like you really don't have to like you can do this and it actually ends up making the makeup look more edgy i think if you're not wearing falsies maybe i won't wear falsies no i want to so if you're looking for very natural falsies, I've talked about these before, but these are the Faux Mink Demi Wispies by Ardell. So this is what I'm gonna use because they're pretty natural looking. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna uh, pop that off off screen and then I'll be right back. We'll finish off the lip. Fucking gorgeous, right? Like, pff, are you kidding me? Um, okay, let's do the lips. So she's wearing a glossy red lip, which is like so dangerous, you know, cause like, all over your teeth. So I'm gonna start off just by using like a regular old red lip liner. This is Cherry by MAC to overline and line my lips. Just wanna get the right shape. So I'm going to feather that lip liner in. Didn't really feather it on the bottom, that's fine. I guess I'm gonna use my, my fave. This is Atlantic City by Ofra, which is, wow, my contact is like, tried to jump out of my eye. This is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. So I'm just gonna go all over the lips with this. All right, now that that has dried down a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this lip liner by mm, blah, 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 Makeup Forever. This is Free Burgundy 718. And I'm going to use this to just define the outer part a little bit. Just wanna add a little more um, dimension. This is it with just a matte lip, which is obviously a lot easier to wear. You're not gonna get it like all over your teeth, but for Miley's sake, let's make it a little bit glossy. Now, I was disappointed to find out that I don't have any red glosses laying around anywhere, but this is the L'Oreal Paris. I don't even know what this is called. I don't even know what this is. It just says lip color. I literally don't know what this is. I think it's like a stain or something. Uh, and it's called I Don't. It's kind of like a fiery red. I'm gonna put it over the center and just see if like, hopefully it adds a little bit of a gloss. It's kind of a stain, I can't really tell. It didn't really make it glossy, but it did give it a little bit more dimension. All right, people, this is the finished look. I love it. I think it's fucking glam as shit. It makes me want to pose. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this look. And remember that if you are interested in trying it, maybe try toning your lip down a little bit. Like maybe use a darker lip. That might seem weird, but like the, the more you like desaturate a color, the less intense it's gonna be all up in your face. And same goes for the eyes. Like tone the purple down a little bit. If you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable, don't wear falsies, just wear like natural lashes. But yeah, I think it's fucking bomb, I love it. If you want me to do more like celebrity recreations, I'm always down. But this one just like spoke to me. You know, I had to do it. So I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.